Hi everybody. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a Google custom search engine within your library's web page. You can use this to search your own library's page or library site or what you can do is use it to create a custom subject directory where you have vetted all the different web addresses that you're going to put into this directory. So to do that what you need to do is first create a Google account if you don't have one already and then you need access to your library's website. If you don't have access what you need to do is whatever code we generate for this you'll need to email it to your IT person or your webmaster. So here we go. The first thing we do after we've logged into Google is click on the blue create a custom search engine and from here we're going to start typing in the web addresses of either our own library if we want to search our own library or whatever databases we want to use as a subject directory. So this I'm going to type in mayoclinic.com and I will also tell uh, let's see healthfinder is a good one healthfinder.gov so right now my subject directory consists of two websites I can keep adding more if I want to and then I check that it's English and I hit create and from here all I have to do is click the blue get code button and here's the JavaScript I need to copy that so I'm highlighting it with my mouse I'm copying it control C on my keyboard I'm gonna go over to my website editor and where it says place search here I typed that in earlier I'm gonna just paste the code in now I save it control S on my keyboard upload it to my website my web server and now here's the page before I refresh and here's my custom search and now from here if I want to type in a, a health concern I'll type in cancer because this is our health database and here we go it automatically searches Mayo Clinic and Health Finder and I see all the Mayo Clinic results first so it was that simple if you need to change anything simply go back and you have all these different uh, menus here you can click the setup if you need to add more pages just click add and type in even more websites to make your subject directory grow. You can change the look and feel. You can do everything, even delete your directory if you want to, but you're not going to want to. You want to hold on to it because you're going to find it's going to be a very popular and very useful tool for your researchers and for your patrons. So it was that simple. It's free. Give it a shot. Think of all the websites you want to visit for your customized directory, and good luck.